Hi guys and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. It's Rocio, also known as Queen Bro. If you're not following me on my social media, I will have my description on the bottom. I'll have my Instagram and my Facebook. Thank you so much for visiting. I am a new channel still. I am working on a beauty and hair channel. Hence, upon so many requests from a lot of people that know me personally that want to know, Hey, how do you get ready? How do you do your makeup? How do you do your hair? What wigs do you use? So I decided to just uh, finally go into this YouTube world and here we go. And I'm very positive this is a channel of love this is a channel of positivity and we are going to embrace that here honey so stay tuned for my little get ready something natural something normal just an everyday type of look of what I do and I'll show you um, some products that I use and some of the things that I currently just put on my face so stay tuned for that prepped my face I washed my face with the Mary Kay time wise three-in-one cleanser obviously none of these products are sponsored by the companies whatsoever but um I wish they were hello coins honey so anyway <laughs> I started as a beauty consultant for Mary Kay back um, and in order for me to actually um, sell Mary Kay I had to use my mom's name so I was working under my mom's name because I was a minor until I turned 18 but I was doing people's makeup, I was doing 16s, <clears throat> I was doing makeup for weddings and proms and things like that at the age of 17. And today the game is so strong in the makeup community that there are 15 year olds killing it on social media and I admire them so much. Um, so next thing I did was I prepped my face also with a moisturizer. It is extremely important for you to moisturize your skin. Guys, that is the foundation of your makeup. So. I use the Neutrogena today. It's just a drugstore brand. And um, we're going to use this little sample <clears throat> from when I worked at Nordstrom. I used to be in charge of the technology side. I am studying technology in high, in high school. I'm studying technology in college. And when I, I worked at Nordstrom for um, a while, almost two years, and I was in charge of the beauty department. So I was always in the beauty section, the beauty. You know Nordstrom is one of those higher and department stores, I wouldn't even call it a department store. Would you call it a department store? That's not beer, that is Red Bull. <laughs> okay, so all these little samples were samples that I got from Nordstrom from when I used to work there. Um, Nordstrom beauty employees do get gratis. So I was very lucky and very blessed that the manager there and the girls there, we formed a, a nice little friendship and they they used to give me little samples here and there so this is one of the things that they gave me i don't know if you guys can see it is the lancome i don't know but it is the lancome la base pro pore eraser we love that here so hello about that much so yeah i used to work at north show for for a while I wasn't doing makeup, but I was in the customer service department. And um, it was here in New Jersey. I do live in New Jersey. And it was it was an experience, all right? I mean, it, it toughened me up and it, I learned so much at Nordstrom that, I mean, I can never, um, I can never be unappreciative of the time that I was there. I did get fired though because, honey, driving an hour to work, sometimes even more in the morning traffic, sometimes was unpredictable. My schedule was changing. I was getting sick. I was just all over the place with college and, and work. It was just very, very difficult. And unfortunately, I was let go by the company, but um, it's okay. No hard feelings. The foundation that I use is this It Cosmetics. And this is the CC Cream um, Hydrate Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum, SPF of 50, honey. Okay. So this is the shade. I, I I didn't even like I see this all the time, but I wasn't even paying attention. There was it says 50. All right. So this is a shade in medium. This is actually a little bit lighter for me, but we are going to fix that, of course, with contour. We're going to apply this under the eyes, and this is just how I apply my makeup sometimes i use a beauty blender but right now i'm just obsessed with this brush this brush is by sedona lace and this is the number 
727. Sedona Lace has really affordable products and they also have like I have their powders as well. I have a a, a palette of uh, powders and a blush and and a bronzer and and stuff. So it's not so I would say bougie or anything like that. It's not that expensive or anything, but they are really good. Like I hate it. Like I had one time a brush for a foundation and that just kept and it was from from mac i'm sorry but it was from mac and when i was putting on my makeup like the little the little things were staying in my face like the little hairs were like sticking to my face i was like oh no i paid so much money for this and then meanwhile this one is not even that expensive oh my hair's a mess this one is not even that expensive and literally i have not had one hair on my face so sit down at least good job for that love it and no, anything like that. I'm not sponsored by any of them. So, see how natural that looks? I love it. Nothing heavy. Right now, I don't want full coverage because I'm. This is a daily thing. This is just because I don't want to leave the house with a bare face and looking a hot mess in the street. And then they're like, if anybody recognizes me or something like that, not to be bougie or anything, but you know, when you don't have makeup on, you run into people who you shouldn't be running into people when you're in that condition. And then the, um, this is so funny because I had this in the NYX. This is like the contour thingy, the contour stick. And I had it in NYX and then I was like, wait a minute. I was scrolling through the Wish app. I used to be addicted to Wish. Honey, I used to be addicted to Wish.com. Have you been addicted to Wish? I'm like, oh my god, the price is there? Hello. And you know I'm a girl on her budget. I'm saving my coins. Because a girl has to pay rent. A girl has utilities. A girl has a car. And you know. I need to pay credit cards. And I live all on my own, basically. I live with my family, but it's basically almost living all on my own and i pay everything honey everything on my own so when you're on a budget like that and you're not making that many coins like that you think about you know the prices of everything like i have learned how to buy at the drugstore things that you could get in supermarkets for almost twice as much so i have learned to just um be smart about my money and where i shop like if i could get something on the wish app for half the price and i just have to wait maybe two three weeks for me to get it they're very good now on delivery but if it's the same thing a girl is going to pay less Okay, and I'm going to save my coins. No. We're not going to be um, a victim of consumerism unless it's for really, really good quality. Now, if it's worth it and you have the money and you like your quality items, then go for it. But this is a contour stick that I found on Wish. I don't even know how what, how much it was, but I know it was less than what I paid for my NYX. No shade to NYX. NYX is good, but if I could find something better for the same quality. Um, this is Sugar Queen. I don't know if you can see it. It's all messed up now. My The white part is completely gone, like my concealer. Oh, still there. Okay. All right. <laughs> Work. Sorry, I had to pause there for a second because uh, my phone, I do record on my phone. I'm still working on getting a camera. Do you guys have any suggestions of which camera would be best? Something obviously not so expensive, not like two or in the thousands because hello, what did I just finish explaining? I'm a girl on a budget. Yes, I am, honey. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestion for um, any camera that I should use, that I should buy that is under... I would say my budget would be approximately less than $500. I wouldn't be looking to pay any more than that. But if anybody wants to sponsor me, I'm more than welcome to. I will give you a shout out and everything. 
Um, all right, so the contour was working and then we're gonna go in with the same brush and we're just gonna blend everything in because baby girl is a little bit more tan than normal and yes i do tan as well i know it's so bad for the skin but it's the glow that you get this is so amazing and i don't like self tanners because usually self tanners are like Oh my god, they have an odor or something like that. Well, the ones that I've experienced have an odor. And then um, what ends up happening is your clothes get all stained, stained and everything. So it's like, oh my god, everything is such a mess. Ugh. So anyway, um, what do you guys think about all the drama that's happening with Jeffree Star, Manny MUA? and other beauty info i'm not gonna use that and other influencers that i'm coming across all over social media and if you follow them on youtube if you're subscribed to their channel there is just so much drama like so much negativity honey why i mean i messaged um a youtuber by the name of rich lux And honey, he is, I think he's a very positive person. He gets thrown under the bus a lot. But he's not a negative commenter, in my opinion. But here's the thing. The world in general, not just the beauty community. The world in general is going through such a difficult period of time right now that we need more love in this world we need more unity we need more compassion we need more love we need more understanding we need to stop the drama we need to stop the hate most of the lgbt community is already going through well the lgbt community in general is going through so much pain have has been going through so much pain because of lack of understanding, lack of love. I had to pause for a second there, but yes, my loves, there is. Oh, by the way, yeah, this is also the Sedona Lace palette that I was talking to you guys about. And this palette, I don't remember what it was called, but it's it's been through a lot. I already hit. Can you see that? I have loved this palette for a long time. Don't hate me. Don't pick on me. I just love it. So I'm going in with this one. I'm using this as my powder. I'm not setting anything because I'm just doing something very light, very minimalistic. Very minimalistic. Something very natural. I'm heading over to the gym and I don't want to be full in makeup at the gym so and sweating and everything so all right so the LGBT community in general you guys has been going through so much so much so much so much that it hurts me it hurts me so much to see such a beautiful community such a talented community kind of like bickering at each other or being shady towards one another and being so negative like there is so much negativity and I'm not throwing any shade at anyone Jeffree Star has explained sorry about that noise Jeffree Star has there are kids running around but Jeffree Star has explained that he has been through so much and we've seen him ever since the MySpace days we've seen him go through so much that he he has come so far and for us to or anyone to disrespect someone on that level saying negative comments about him even after he has apologized to a certain community to people that he have, might have hurt unintentionally or things might have been taken out of context and then he has also explained how he has had friends that have betrayed him 
and Manny now coming out with all these things and and coming out with the truth and apologizing and and Gabriel's Mora also coming out with the truth and also being heard with what was what has been taken out of context and has been blown up to a certain level that they didn't think that it was going to be blown up maybe they didn't do it with a bad intention maybe they did i do not know but we need to forgive each other more All right so i'm going to contour with this the color right here um we need to forgive we need to love one another we need to just understand that nobody's perfect we all make mistakes I have made so many mistakes in my life and thanks to those mistakes I am the person that I am today I'm more mature I'm more caring more loving towards others I'm more humble I'm more compassionate towards other people's pain because I have experienced pain who hasn't we've all have experienced pain and I just believe that I mean I don't know any of them personally understand I think we need to grow I think many MUA needs some soul searching I messaged him I DM'd him actually I sent him a private message I did DM him and what is it, I hi I'm doing my, my makeup so cute I thought, I'm, I'm mommy. all right bye what are you doing? my makeup we need to come together we need to apologize manny needs some soul searching obviously he feels i believe he feels very overwhelmed right now i'm not going to speak on behalf of him but even he has explained how his own family how he has he has explained that his own family has even told him like wow you you have been, you have changed and and you have been caught up in you know the worlds of likes and subscribers and followers and LA and everything like that so I'm going to go in with this little brush I'm going to do a little bit of orange as well so hello so I just think that and I'm going to say with this one it's my Sedona lace also and I really like this brush but honey okay so I just think he needs some soul searching. I think he needs to read a little bit of self-help books. I honestly feel that that really helps because when you're in this world of so much, it could be overwhelming. And I don't know what he did to Jeffree Star, we, none of us know, or to Patrick Star. But this is let's be friends. This is perfect. We all need to be friends. We all need to come together love one another respect one another's differences and be appreciative of the people that have been there when we basically are nobodies yet we are somebody in our own world but to the world if you're into your career we need to we can't bite the hand that feeds us that's just my own personal belief we shouldn't bite the hand that feeds us and we should always be appreciative of those individuals that have seen the best in us and believe in us and guide us and have in any way shape or form have given us oh honey that's a lot given us um advice and have helped us grow that's the beauty of this like you can always go back and fix this but um this is the broadway color it's a little bit different because i don't have a mirror in front of me I'm almost done, you guys. This video is, I promise, is not a lot. Eyebrows long. are somewhat there. I'm not caring too much about it right now because it's just uh, just minimalistic makeup to just, you know, go out and not look like a crazy bum or something like that. Um, so, yeah, this is the Clarence Paris. Clarence, Clarence Paris 01 Intense Black uh, Mascara. This is mascara supra volume supra supra so yeah we just need to love one another care for one another respect one another so respect is extremely extremely important i had to get a mirror 
Um, we have to respect one another in general as a community, as people, as individuals. And we need to forgive and spread love. I really love the fact that um, Jeffree Star did accept Gabriel's apology that says a lot about him as a person. And even though he is a great businessman, you guys, like being a businessman does not um, mean that you're a good person. But in general, from what I'm seeing and from what is happening and from what the, the, the idea that I'm getting is that I believe Jeffree Star is a very genuine person. I think he's very genuine. I think he's very honest, especially about um, in his reviews. He does, he does say the truth and he just doesn't care and that's what makes him who he is. So, and the fact that he hasn't thrown anybody under the bus that has been close to him, except the thing that happened with Kat Von D, because obviously he was defending himself, I think. Who wouldn't? I mean, who wouldn't defend themselves? But I think that it says a lot about him. It says a lot about him that he hasn't thrown Manny under the bus or anything like that. He hasn't opened up about that. He has kept that private and he has kept that, you know, kind of like, okay, I'm moving on. That happened. I'm hurt. I'm learning, um, you know, to just continue and move on with my life. Um, but I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm not here to judge Manny. I'm not here to judge Patrick. I'm not here to judge Jeffrey. I'm not here to judge anybody. We should not be judging anyone. The LGBT community, the makeup community in general the beauty community in general everyone everyone any community we need to come together love one another respect one another spread love and we will receive love and just keep it real keep it real that's it sooner or later you will realize that money isn't everything in life money is not everything in life true friendship cannot be bought true friendship shouldn't be bought and if people come and go into your life, then thank God for that. Thank God that they came into your life, they taught you a lesson. Take that lesson in, grow from it, learn from it, and keep it moving. Just keep it moving. Jeffrey, I really respect you as a person. I respect you as a business person. I respect you as a, how do you say, as someone that has basically come from nothing come, has come from so much pain you can assume that oh this guy is not going to do anything he was goth he was this he was that he was a weird weird kid in school and he's not basically going to be anybody so respect to you mama because you are doing it you have done it and you will keep on doing it and i respect you so anyway um same thing for patrick oh my god i respect patrick so much as well i respect a lot of um of anyone. I respect a lot of people. A lot of anyone. Really? I respect a lot of people in general that, um, because I've also been there. I've been thrown under the bus. I've been, but I have been stepped on, dragged through the dirt. And I, you know, I'm stronger. I'm wiser. And I learn from it. So that's a little tea on me, guys. Um, sorry to keep rambling about all this. I'm not trying to get uh, more clicks or anything like that. It it comes and goes. I'm just here. This is fun. I love makeup. This is something natural. This is what I like to do. And I'll be right back with some lips. All right, guys. Just to finish off, we're going to go in with the Cream Sheen Cream Cup from MAC, of course. If you hear them talking... We're, we're going to do commercial right now. Sorry, you guys. Cut the video. <laughs> Alright, so this is a very nice and just a clear... Like I said, it's something natural for an everyday look. Yeah. So, um, yes, this is my take on the drama that's going on, guys. Just stop the hate. Stop the drama. Stop attacking Jeffree Star. Stop attacking Patrick. Stop attacking Manny MUA. Leave him alone. Um, I'm sure he will find find God and find peace or, or 
just positivity guys stop the negativity if you don't have anything good to say just don't say anything and leave him alone don't subscribe to his channel don't follow him don't support him that is all for today till next time i will have more reviews more things coming up so make sure you subscribe turn on that notification button and leave comments if you want i don't care um let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think about this don't mind the hair please disregard the hair today honey have a good one Stay tuned. Oh, I messed up. <laughs>